Good evening, my name is Charles Gabriel, and I'm here today to uh, demonstrate, you know, chicken. I have a restaurant uptown, and you know, and I have a pretty good chicken, so I want to, you know, show everybody, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know how I prepare it in my way from down south. So, for my first step, I, I take the whole chicken. I get nine pieces out of this chicken. So what I do, I take off the wings. And I take out a piece they call the center breast. We call it the kill breast down south. And that's what's called the center breast. That's got a lot of meat, you know, more than the. Then I take out the side breast, which we call the rib breast. That's just for it. This is the rib breast. Then the leg and the thigh. Which give me nine pieces out of one chicken. Then after that, I have a special season I make up a dry season, which is this one here, which uh, come along with uh, black pepper, uh, salt, black pepper, a little onion, and a few more. I don't not put in that I can't, you know, give up right now. <laughs> but anyway, this is the season. So what I do, I take the season, I make sure it's seasoned good. And uh, I make sure when I season it, I don't use it before eight hours. Once I put this on, then I refrigerate it, and then I let it sit for like eight hours before I use it. And the season begin to penetrate, you know, into the chicken, that way it get that flavor, you know, from the top to the bottom, I put it that way. Then I use this all purple flour, and I also use the same seasoning, about a pint or whatever amount, into the flour also. Then I use this oil, which is canola oil or soybean oil, which doesn't matter. And uh, I push this in the thing. Then I use an egg wash, which is, if you're gonna do it at home, I'll use like two eggs and maybe a half a quarter milk. You know, and two eggs. Then you beat it up, then you put, just like a pinch of this seasoning, season in everything. <laughs> it's in everything. It starts from the top to the bottom. Season is the main, you know, thing of the chicken. So, I'll put this in there. After I prepare it here, it sit for eight hours. And then after this, we take it to the frying pan. From the, from the flour to the egg wash. From I mean, from the wash to the flour to the pan. And then you put it in there and then you Continue frying in the pan, no deep fry, in the frying pan, until it comes nice, crispy, and brown. And then, you know, then take it out and then you eat it. <laughs> 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 so that that's the key to this right now. So, anybody have any questions before? Mm -hmm. How long? How long do you let it fry? Well, you figure about 20 minutes. In my restaurant, mine go fast because I have more fire, you know. Here, when I fried today, it took me like 20, 25 minutes. Okay. Because it's over the gas heat, but my gas is a little, you know, commercial gas is a little high, so I can do it a little faster. So in about 20, 25 minutes. In the frying pan, how deep is the oil? Well, you want, you want the oil half. You want the oil halfway. You don't want it. Chicken to be submerged. No, no, you don't want it submerged under the oil. It should be half in, half out. And also, you gotta continue to turn it. You can't just walk away from it and leave it because it's gonna burn. You gotta continue to turn it, you know, as it's browning. When it first starts, you don't have to turn it right away, but when you see it start browning, once it starts browning, you gotta continue to move it around, otherwise, it's gonna burn. In the oil temperature? The oil temperature should be about 375. Is it 
So I'd say to a type of skillet, why don't you use cast iron? Or cast iron. The best. You can use, or use the best, but you can use a regular skillet, but you've got to be careful because it's a little lighter mm -hmm. and it's going to cook faster. Okay. And it's going to cook faster, it's going to burn. <laughs> but cast iron can cook it even, you know, because the, the pinnacle of the heat doesn't, you know, blast, you know, the oil when it gets so hot when it starts smoking and burning. Question. My, my grandmother is, is 95 years strong in Best for Alabama, and um, I was raised in Alabama. And uh, my grandmother actually taught me how to fry chicken, and I was just wondering. She rendered her own lard. Have and I see you have Crisco oil. Have yes, you ever? Well, uh, here, that's what I. That's, I grew up on that. That's what I was frying chicken with. Oh, okay. Now, stuff, but, but you yes, know, right. here, you know, with the pork, a lot of people don't eat pork now, so therefore I had to take it, take it away, and try something. Like, even now with the collard greens, I had to take the pork from the collard green and you smoke turkey because, you know, a lot of people don't deal with the pork here. Now I was just saying that because soul food sometimes gets such a bad reputation and I just feel that it's not the soul food, but sometimes it's actually the ingredients that we eat now. Whether it's the chicken that's now filled with, like, you know, steroids, who knows what Tyson right. and Purdue is putting in chicken. You know, Grandma raises her chicken up underneath the house, and then, the, you know, the lard that's rendered is not this, right. or, you know, this hydrated, like, Crisco shortening, which right. really attributes to um, all the problems. And I don't think it's the soul food, so to speak, but I think it's some of the grocery store products that really contribute to some of our bad health. Soul food is kept her strong for 95 years, so I don't think that's the issue. Right, absolutely. <laughs> what about cleaning the chicken? Do you clean it with a lemon, with vinegar, or just water? I just clean it with water. Just water? Oh, yeah, fresh chicken. I think I'm in. I clean it good with water. Okay. Yeah. I noticed your chicken cut up. Do you buy chicken parts, or do you still cut no, your whole chicken? No, I buy whole chicken, chicken. No parts. I buy whole chicken, and I cut them up. And what about the extra fat that might be there? Do you pull, well, that, pull just, that out? I'll pull that out. The extra fat always takes that out. Okay. What about the skin? Because the skin is high in saturated fat. A lot of people don't touch it without skin. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's not too much I can do with that because the skin, <laughs> the skin is what the people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know they right. the skin is in. <laughs> it's a different kind of restaurant. The chicken ain't got no skin, they ain't going to die. Question um, with the, the passing of, of Miss Woods, do you feel that now you are the torchbearer up in Harlem as it relates to uh, making sure you, you hold down that old school guard of, of soul food know, here now in, in Harlem? I don't know, but you know, I you know, you're a dying breed. <laughs> a lot of people call like a food network. I got to meet today at my restaurant uh, today at 3 30 after I leave here. Wow. They could even want to do it. I would try to put it off the Monday, but they said they had to do it today. So when I leave here, I got to go there. And they're going to be there today. Yeah, I don't think so. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned the Food Network. I also know um, that uh, I'm not sure it was a while ago, maybe a year, a couple years ago. Correct me if I'm wrong. You also partnered with the restaurant downtown. Right, so. Yeah, and uh, Rocky. But there was right, also so. another. Like on Fridays and Saturdays, oh, that was they Patron. serve. Yes. The Patron, yeah. yeah. I was there for like seven months. Okay. Yeah, I was there for, they had my fried chicken there at the Patron. And they had it there for about five months. And, uh, you know, they were doing reservations. He don't, he, he don't open on Friday, but he gave me Friday. That's what they called it, Friday, you know. Yes. Friday ch fried chicken. That's what they called it down there. So <laughs> what he did, and he used to get over two or three hundred reservations. Yes, mm. That's what he got. For just for fried chicken, just and, fried and the chicken. dinner was like twenty-five dollars a plate on a regular dinner. Uh, two pieces of chicken, two sides. Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars. We didn't come uptown and get us huh? fried. Huh? <laughs> fried? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Where do you get the freshest chicken? Well, it's the market now. You know, I, I buy mine at like Death Row or the big markets now that I buy. It. You know, Purdue is a good chicken. Then they got Allen chicken out there is good also. about the preparation. You mentioned something about people don't, a lot of people don't eat pork and, uh, um, and a lot of other, they don't want pork in the um, collard greens and what have you. Right. But I think that's uh, like a reflection of people's um, uh, education about health and healthy eating and a 
lot of uh, soul food, the preparation, because my parents are from the deep south, they're from okay. central Louisiana. Okay. And they uh, had hog malls, all that stuff, pig, pig, all, the HG, all that stuff. So my question is, could it be that people are coming away from that because of um, the currents of um, high triglycerides, high cholesterol, heart disease, and stroke? So they're pulling back from that fat? That is correct. That is correct, yeah. That's one of the reasons why. So do you, do, you, do you promote that in your cooking? I guess that, uh, well, that's what I'm trying I, to ask. I, I try to take away as much as I can. I do have, you know, certainly I do have like the oil and stuff, you know, that fried chicken. But I don't cook with, you know, no pork or nothing. I cook with uh, smoked turkey or something like that, you know. And most of my stuff, if I'm going to prepare the vegetables. But uh, for the chicken, you know, I have to use a, a soybean oil or either canola oil to, you know, to. Uh, That's in there. Yeah, and uh, and I do it in the frying pan. That's why it's not as greasy oh. as in the deep fryer because I use a frying pan, which the chicken don't have time to penetrate the oil exactly. like they do it in the deep fry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, is it a reason why? Um, you cut the chicken up then to buy it in pieces, or is this just personal preference? Well, if I buy a whole chicken, I get nine pieces cheaper for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because if I if I buy the cut up chicken, I'm gonna pay more money because they're gonna charge me for cutting it and everything. It's gonna be much more high. And I buy it this way, I get it much cheaper. Otherwise, I can't make a profit off of it in the restaurant. If I, you know, buy it like that. You know, this gentleman mentioned that his family was from the Deep South and how they used the entire pig. I agree. The pig doesn't have a chance in, in, in my room in the South. I mean, they use everything from the intestines to the brains oh, to the feet yeah, to the absolutely. tail to the tongues. I mean, everything. That's how they did it. Yeah, they did. And it's funny that they call that now Charles nose to tail dining. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. Hilarious. Um, so my, my question to you is, do you use every bit of the chicken? Do you use its feet? Do you use the gizzard? Do you use Do you use all of the I chicken? Use, I use everything of the chicken. I don't use the feet, but I do have the gizzard and the liver okay. because if for a breakfast. So, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. And you gotta use the gizzard for gravy too. Right. right. <laughs> and then if I want stock, I use the feet. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's real. I'm from Virginia. Okay. Chicken feet. Chicken feet. That's why you eat those bones every day. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the white man didn't want to eat, we had it. They throw away whatever they threw away the pig. We cooked but every, it. every culture had chicken. They just eat it different ways. Right. You know, but, so but, right. But, to, but to her point is this. Every culture did have chicken, but you understand we were limited with okay. a very yeah, restricted yeah, yeah. diet in the yeah. South. Okay. Fried chicken is indigenous with the South. Okay. So when I yeah. asked Charles about the fact that he uses canola, uh, canola oil, they didn't have canola, uh, canola oil in the South when Grandma was growing up. What they had was pig. Right. And the thing is they had the leftover of the pig that master gave them. So what did they do with that pig? They rendered that hog to make lard. Yeah. So now what did they do with the lard? Two things. Number one is they changed it into soap. They bathed soap, in it. Yeah. They used it to wash their clothes with right. it. And guess what? They yeah. used it to also to fry it with it. They and of course, and it still make the best damn pie crush you ever wanted to yeah. taste. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> We're talking about black folks who were creative. Yeah. All right, this, is, this, is, this is fried chicken. We created this because we did it out of necessity. Yes. We had to. And the fact of the matter is, what does it take to fry? Wood and fire. That's it. And yeah. you can That's also it. use one vessel, a pot, and That's you can it. feed your whole family. That's we it. have. A, what, saute pans and, 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 you know, all these types, different types of uh, fancy uh, cookware that they may have had over in, Frick, 